the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is uh, subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. Go to the one that I really want to get to the vain glory one. Is the fact that look at the manipulation was demonstrated here. The first one is, let me just see if you do a magic trick. Just, just, just a magic trick, you know, just, just, just show me that if you be, you know, it's almost talking about us right now, today, right? If you be the body of Christ, if you be a child of God, because I mean, son of God, right? We, we, everybody's born again, supposed to be what? Children of God, right? 
that, that's that's what we're supposed to be, right? Yeah. He said, he said, he said, he, he wanted to challenge first your faith. It's the first thing he wants to challenge. Well, yeah. first thing he challenged was he he, he started out by saying, "If you be the son of God." Yeah, that's the key. Like, yeah. So you, if you don't know who you are, <laughs> you you can be manipulated. You can be, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that that is the first thing. Mm -hmm. If yeah. thou be the son of God. Come on now. Yeah. Otherwise, he he said, "Otherwise, let me give my card another time." And, 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 and prove prove to me. Prove that you. What's what's the like scripture? Doing this. What do people say? Are you saying? You, you remember that? Yeah. How they how they come to you? Are you saying? Have you ever had somebody come to you asking you say? Are you saying? Have you ever? Yeah, I, I, I have had somebody ask me that. What, what you thought of that when that, that question came to you? What, what um, you? Were you offended? It, it, well, I don't think I was offended. I don't think I even answered. <laughs> <laughs> you know that because I don't remember anyone. <laughs> Coming to me uh, in a in a civil way of saying that. Oh, really? Okay, okay. You know what I mean? I think yeah. it was like if 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 you're doing something, are you saved? <laughs> you know, say people don't do that or or something. I don't know. They question your salvation. Yeah. Right. They they won't question. They won't ask me for how to get saved. They won't ask. They won't even sincerely say, "Can I minister salvation to you?" You know, because they could be like a soul winning team, right? Just out there and they just, hey, brother, you say, bro. Because let me tell you about Jesus. And then you would accept it and say, well, come on, tell me about it. You know what? A same mm -hmm. person with it? Tell me what you got to say. What you got to say, brother? Yeah, let, me, let me hear it. I want to hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In other words, they would be more encouraging the person. Yeah. What do you know about being saved? Come on, man. Tell, tell me what that means. Tell me what it means. Even though you already know what it means, you, yeah. you, 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 I want to hear where you're coming from. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a demonstrate being saved. Come on, <laughs> instead of telling you, which is basically what Christ did. But what I wanted to explain okay. in four and three, uh -huh. four and three, okay. when the tempter said, "Command these stones to be made bread," we have to understand that he had been out there without food or water for 40 days. Oh, coming to your weakest point. Yeah. So here he is trying to get him to appease his flesh. Wow. Woo! Which is why he said, man shall not live yes. by bread alone. Right. He didn't say you can't, so, you don't need it, you need it. What he was saying was, the spirit mm. <laughs> is more important than this physical bread. So the, 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 the words of God Come on now. at this point is more important than this bread Woo. is going to nourish my flesh. Come on. My Whoa. spirit will nourish my flesh more than this bread will at this time. Ooh. Yes, sir. And then he taketh him up and sitteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, mm -hmm. placing him above stuff now. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, elevated. Okay. And, and said, you know, if thou be the son of God, cast that out. So put this flesh out of misery. <laughs> Here we go. You got to understand this. This is what I see. <laughs> we want you to end this, this fasting, this suffering that your flesh is going through. Mm, mm. Because the angels will come. Come on. <laughs> and bear you up. Wow. And take care of you. Yeah. If you be, though. If, that's if you if. be. The son, yeah. you know, the, the, the angel gonna catch you. Yeah. So I, I want you to go ahead and commit suicide. And so the angel he he's talking about a physical thing, <laughs> and then Jesus reverts it right back to a spiritual. Yes, he did. <laughs> Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. So you gotta see how 
how crafty the enemy is. Mm. Mm. And, and, and not to say how, he he comes to appease that flesh, he attacks that flesh because he can't touch no. your spirit. No. He can only go out that flesh. And I like the fact that too you said he said, first I'm gonna dip the Satan is gonna manipulate the, the scripture. Yeah. Christ is sitting there telling, let me tell you how y'all are supposed to deal with this. Is when somebody throw you a scripture, then you need to say it is written again. Y'all yeah. see what you told me. Because it's like what, you know how you when you say that it's written again, yeah. it's implied that something what, what I'm doing. Well let me this I'm telling you this that you told me this scripture. Yeah. But again, there's another scripture that gives more clarity yeah. to what you just said. And this one is, again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Because what you're doing to me is tempting him. Yeah. And technically, when, when, when somebody questions your salvation in the matter we talked about, not a soul winning team, not somebody that don't know you, and then that's what they're trying to get to, the, to hear the gospel, but somebody who's supposed to be saved, know you're supposed to be saved, and try to question what God is saying. Because now you're tempting God. Because the scripture told me that if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus, right? Yeah. And believe in my heart that God is raised from the dead, I shall be saved. Yeah. 10 says, for with the, with the heart man, right? With your spirit, you believe unto righteousness. <laughs> huh? Well, I was just thinking, you know, it, it, it's, it's a little out of order. Go ahead. But if, if, Imagine someone coming to you, uh -huh. and, and, and it, this does happen. Yes, sir, it does. You know, you you should you should you should come to my service. Yeah, you know, yeah. man, we have a great service. Our speaker is great, man. We we just enjoy it. And then you know, and, and, and you could be saved there. You know, and, and, and you just say <laughs> it is written. It is written. That if, if I Confess with my mouth. Come on, come on now. <laughs> Believe in my heart. <laughs> I'm come on. Saved. Come on. Yeah. But, and then, but you need a covering. Well, the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. The parents. Is my covering. Is my covering. Yes, sir. And he'll bring me all truth. So why do I need, <laughs> I need someone I need, yeah. to bring me a truth when come I on. have someone that will bring me to all truth, not Come just his truth. <laughs> All truth. Come on. Uh, so, matter of fact, you know, he, 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 he's my, he's, he's my advocate. Yes. I have a mediator. You know, just because you don't want to pray for me, just because you don't want to intercede for me, guess what? The scripture said, I got somebody interceding for you today. And you know what else? He's exactly. only going to tell me what Yeshua wants me to know. Woo. Only. Mm. Come on. That's what he said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, 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 that's, 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 you hitting it on the nail. And the fact is, that at the same time, we see the pattern of the enemy. Yeah. Question your salvation. And then look at this one. Because then you're hungry, right? Because I, I, I want to use that one to follow the, the, this, this other thing. Because if you notice this one, go ahead and read it, read it, read it, read it. Okay. I, I'll let you see what Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. <laughs> and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Wow. wow. Then said Yeshua unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Mm. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only Holy. shalt Ooh. thou serve. Ooh. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, now the angels came. Okay, exactly. And ministered unto him. <laughs> Come on now. And so one of the this, this, this is crazy. I mean, you're going to show someone <laughs> all the glory of the world, Ooh. but he made them. <laughs> he did. And, he, and and look and, and and there is a seat 
mm. in mm. the glory waiting for him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that his father is giving him. Yes, sir. That is high above every, everything. Everything. You sent me on this vain glory. I call it vain glory. That's what that's You sent me way down here <laughs> when I got a kingdom <laughs> that is exalted far above all this. <laughs> <laughs> you show me, you show me dying vain, really. Yeah. Because all you show, I guarantee you, you're showing me a a temporary thing. A temporary thing. It almost like that. What I was catching is that this particular one is I'm gonna give you something. Remember you said you was hungry, you was hungry, yeah. and everything else. Yeah. This last one is I'm 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 not only gonna satisfy your flesh. I'm gonna give you power. Wow. If you take this glory, you have the food. You bet eat all you want. But see, this is something that I want people to understand. I didn't get this. Mm. Until you know, not not too long ago, I really saw this. Mm -hmm. We have to understand that the enemy has this to offer. Yes, he and he something. still does, and people are accepting this. Yes, sir. which is why they're in these positions of power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why they are in control of these kingdoms. At least they think they are. Yeah. Well, look, 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 McCarthy, you use a modern day time, McCarthy, right? Yeah. He, he's the speaker of the house. He, yeah. he basically made deals and everything else to, to achieve yeah. a position of power. Yeah, that's on a smaller level. <laughs> you know, he, to, to get in that position, he gave up. He gave up a lot. More than what he got. He yes. had no control too, right? Because no. you basically said that you think you'll get control. But no, nah, no, nah, you're gonna make a deal with me, you lose control. Yeah. And he, you know what? Huh? And at any time he's gonna have to bow down and worship. Yes, sir. When they, they say, they, if you don't, if you don't do my wishes, then I'm on I'm on ask that you to step down. Yes, sir. And, and, and it's funny, this, the, the other part of the situation is you got the people going for this candidate, right? Mm -hmm. Selling their, you don't know what right and wrong, right? Yeah. And thinking that they will still be controlling. Matter of fact, if you go back to the first time of the election, they thought they could control this man. And they realize they can't. No. And I, I think a lot of them, I think the reason I think you see a whole bunch of people want to run for office for that group, right? Swapping in, right? You got a whole, you got, yeah. they, 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 saw, they see an opportunity of a vacuum that needs to be filled. Yeah, well, they smell blood in the water. Go ahead. This is the thing. They know <laughs> as long as they support, there's a group of them knowing that his base is going to have to choose someone else soon. Because there's no way in the world this guy is going to, going to be president. Or they, they just really believe that he, he, he's going to fall with these. Well, these charges, all this yeah, night, he's charged. Yeah, yeah so, 37, there's a lot that will come in. These people, are going to have to go and vote for someone. That's why they won't go against this man, so that they can say, "I was on his side all this time." Yeah. They'll then you got me. these people who are trying to get the other side. Yeah. By saying, "Okay, well, you got these Republicans that are just going to revoke. I mean, vote Republican just. They're going to vote no matter what. You know, no matter what. Yeah. But maybe they see." the heirs of this guy and they want to vote for somebody so i'm just going to go scorch earth against him yeah he needs to get out yeah he was wrong you know there what there's two of them that are saying chris chris christy and christy yeah you pence pence in there pence is still straddling the fence he's he he already announced his presidency now yeah but he's still straddling the fence because how is he going to say that I'm for, you know, law and order and, and for, you know, uh, to do what's right. Yeah. And he's going to say, 
they should not do anything to, they shouldn't bring these charges. And they were like, well, if he did it, you're saying we shouldn't bring the charges? So hey, look, look. He's okay. above the law? Uh, 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 well, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Matter of fact, this one is it. This is what he, he did very skillfully. Uh, you probably catch was he said, like Biden administration, he said, uh, Marlon, Garland, you need to stop hiding behind a special counsel and come out and explain to the American people what you got. Yeah, oh yeah, he's right. trying to he's trying so to that, give them a trying, strategy. Exactly. Yeah. He's trying to find out. Everybody is trying to get the special investigators to give the information that has not been given. Right. So and they like want to know what these charges are so that they can start yeah. doing their propaganda yeah. to go against it before it even comes out. Just yeah. like Trump came out and said something, his, gave his agenda before he was even charged. He, matter of fact, he, uh, I think it sounded like something. Once he, once he said he announced his candidacy, he did it early, yeah. so that he thought that, oh, now I, I'm not touchable. Yeah. I, you know, you don't indict a, a and then he, uh, he even, candidate. Uh, uh, threatened. Yeah. You, can't, you come after me, there's going to be he did. You know, a war in these streets. They, and then you already got something so they think that now they put it in Florida, they, they might call some, some one Republican sit there and say, come out and uh, game is on. I don't know if you heard that one. Yeah, uh, I get it. But, but the, you know, the, 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 the point is that the people are going all in. And yeah. nobody, what that person does. But I, let's back up, back up a little more second. The special counsel guy, he put the stuff out on the street. He put the charges in the pictures to everybody they have it and said, you read the charges for yourself. You know what I mean? There's 37 counts. They put pictures and everything on there. Trump said on one of the pictures, all I saw was news articles on there. He didn't see that. He, like I'm looking at, I see a class, I see a secret document in the in this. There was a box that spilled over. I don't know if you saw that one. Yeah. Where, and he said, all I saw was news articles. You, you mean you didn't see that secret document? Yeah. In there? He knew it. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> but but, but it, it's it's a dry run for to me. This is a dry run. This is a big dry run for the Antichrist, who's going to yeah. deceive many. Yeah. Right. And, and we, like I said, this is this is the time of sorrow. Yeah. Which is the time right before all hell hmm. literally yeah. hell breaks loose yeah and the antichrist is going to come and all that stuff like and i mean this world is going to be turned upside down yeah. you think this is bad hmm. you think this chaos right now is bad hmm. this is this is just that's, the tip of the iceberg that's what i'm saying that's what i call it a dry run but the fact is the fact is that you that what when I think about it, this for me, my perspective is when you was able to convince a whole swath of people, I mean, groups of people, ethnic groups and so forth, the world from the trade Atlantic to buy people as property, to treat them less than a human, to in some cases, when it was even on the ocean, if the manifest was too much or the weight was too much, they threw human beings off the side of the ship yeah. in chains, yeah. which is surprising to pause it, but a chain costs money, you know, but yeah. you know, that's yeah. another story. They probably didn't have no choice because they couldn't get them over no other way. Okay, there you go, right. That's where I can pull them, right? If I can get one off, a few off, we're gonna start pulling the rest of them yeah. off, right? Because yeah, you're right. So that was no choice. This is how we gotta get them off the ship. Yeah. And, and and had no, you know, no sympathy. Yeah, no thought for their lives. And, and then they talk about the ladies that were raped on yeah. the ship for the journey. Yeah. That there's chained to, 
bunk beds for people to go in. And then I'm gonna tell you something else. And you gotta, you, you can't, I can't imagine in a way. How could I know they got they do nasty to, to do something? That person was chained to the bed. That person, you know, I'm talking about, you know, you had to urinate, you had to. Yeah. And that they, you know, they ain't clean them. No, no. That's nasty, brother. That's all right, nasty. But did they call they call them animals? They call them animals. They call them savages. Yeah, they, they're, they, they're, they're as low as apes. Hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. But yet you're gonna have sex with them. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, the plantation is out. The, the big plantation exactly, was sex slaves. It, it wasn't only mm -hmm. the females that they were having sex with. Oh, can you imagine that? The ones that got those that went the other way, yeah. They, they just, were they were molesting and, and raping men as well. So wow. you know, um, but yet they they are a mm. superior race, mm. you know, mm. in their mind. Mm. And, and 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 most of all their superiority, all their humanity. You know all their Christianity and yes, that's the this, part of Christianity. This, but not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be the good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call another to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can. Because matter of fact, you think about it. If we deal with Black superiority, or white superiority, or brown superiority, or, or Jew superiority, or any of those superiorities. Those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and meet God. And you're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vain glory. You call the priest the gospel. And you and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel. Because the history of those who proclaim they're Christians, but we're not. Because the tree is known by its fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out supposed to bring you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.